hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video guys we are going to be going over some different logic gates questions so this was suggested by one of the viewers and told me to do more logic gate um, videos so here you go uh, logic gates is such a simple concept but at the same time it could be very tricky if you do not understand the simple basic rules I've made another video on logic gates. I've also done past paper questions on that, but this video will just look at past paper questions and I will go through some of these logic gate questions so that by the end of this video, you understand the entire concept regarding to logic gates. So let's start with number three um, or whatever number, this would be number one for us. And we uh, will be doing all these questions. Um, and this is just a quick video, just going over all the concepts that you need to know for logic gates. So let's begin. Uh, the first one is saying take to show which logic gate. So we could use a highlighter. Which logic gate? So which logic gate will give an output of one for the given inputs A and B? So we have two inputs. We have inputs A. We have inputs B. Which of these two inputs will give us the output of one? It's pretty simple. Now, usually what I like to say is that these gates, I like to give my own names, okay? So I like to give my own names to each of them. So the AND gate, I call it the multiplication gate, the multiplication gate. The OR gate is the addition gate. The NAND gate is opposite of AND. NOR gate is opposite of OR. And the ZOR is like is zero unlike is one if you don't understand these terminologies uh, go check out the other video i explain what this simply means now simply what it means if i multiply for and gate always multiply the two inputs so we need an output of one if we need an output of one one times one is actually one so this is correct or gate you add one plus one is two but again there's nothing like two so we say it's one so that is correct now, if AND and NOR is the opposite of this, this cannot be an output, okay? So therefore that's wrong. And then ZOR is LIKE give you zero, and one and one is alike, so it shall give you zero, so the output will be zero, so therefore that row is complete, okay? So this row is complete. The next one, zero and zero, okay? For AND gate, it won't do anything, because zero times zero is zero, zero plus zero is zero, but for these two, it will work. Zor gate like terms don't give you uh, one, it will give you zero. The next one, one and zero. One times zero is zero. One plus zero is an OR gate, so we'll need it. The NAND gate is the opposite of AND gate, so we'll need it. NOR gate, we will not need it. Zor gate unlike gives you one, so this will be the answer. Okay, I'm hoping you understood that. It's a pretty simple question. Um, you just need to know your rules of each of the following. Now, these are the only gates you need to know, and there's the NOT gate. Okay, and there's the NOT gate. So those are the only ones, but remember the NOT gate, uh, sorry, the NOT gate only, only takes one input. Okay, so you need to know that. That's why it's not mentioned in this because all of these inputs are two. That's why it's not mentioned here. Okay, but there are, uh, these are just all the six logic gates that you need to know. Okay, let's move on to this next question. Draw the logic circuit for the given logic statement. Okay, so we have this given logic statement. It's so simple. We have a bracket here. So we'll do the brackets first, just like uh, mathematics. A is or B. So we're going to draw A is or B. A is or B. It's a pretty simple gate. So it's like that. Okay, that is A is or B. Uh, I'm just going to write Zor here so that my terrible handwritings can be understood. Now, it's B or not C, which means B will be connected with a not C. And these two will form an OR gate. An OR gate. Okay, this is an OR gate. This is a NOT gate. Okay, and then it is connected with an AND gate finally. Okay. It's connected with an AND gate. Okay. It is connected with an AND gate.
Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, what I was explaining was this is the ZOR gate, OR gate, NOT gate, and then AND gate. Now, a simple trick I like to always say to all the students um, that whenever you're looking at a logic gate question, always look at the marks. If it is four marks, that mostly, okay, I'm gonna say 99% of the times means four marks, four O levels means four logic gates. Not always, not always. Remember there that 1% of times that sometimes is not you know but usually it is most of the times it is okay so there you go we have done that question let's move on to the next question another question regarding to logic statements so let's have a look at this so here um, it looks a bit more complicated so let's try to figure this out uh, we start off with the brackets we start off with the smaller brackets so these smaller brackets that I'm now looking at we start off with these so let's start off with that a or B so let's start off with a or B so a Okay, that's an OR gate. I'm just gonna write OR gate there. That is an OR gate. It is with A or B. Of course, this should be connected, but whatever. Um, and it's connected with B or Z. B or C. So we got B. And then we got. So that's my ZOR gate. So it's B or C. And then it's NOT. Okay, and then it's a NOT gate. So I'm gonna write NOT gate here. As you can see right here not gate and then what's happening here this is connected with an and c no no sorry it is connected with this and so all this is connected with this and so let's try to connect it with an and gate but i don't think we're done because now we connect c with an and gate Okay, so this is an AND gate, this is an AND gate, okay? So yeah, that will give us the answer, right? I'm hoping you understood. Let's let's go over this again. If I zoom into this, right, if I just zoom into this, now it's a bit pixelated, but if I zoom into this, you will see, the f we always look at the brackets first. So this is the first bracket that is inside, then this bigger bracket, that's why it's not, that's why the reason why it's not, and then, you know, like that. Then we have the smaller bracket here, smaller bracket. And then this entire thing is connected with an AND gate. And then finally AND C. Okay, that's the reason why. Let's move on to the next question. Is this the same question? No, it's another question. Okay. Do not attempt to simplify uh, the logic circuit. So these types of questions are really easy. Sometimes they tell you to draw it and then you make the truth table. So how do you make this truth table? It's pretty simple, very easy actually. So what you're supposed to do first of all is list all of these gates. So I'm going to call this one, this two, this three, and this four. Next thing you're going to do in the working space, you're going to just make four lines. So one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to go each gate one by one. First thing you can do is just label each of the gates. This is an OR gate. This is a NOT gate. This is a NAND gate. And then this is an AND gate, okay? So let's go, OR gate. OR gate is what? OR gate is an addition gate. That means you add all the values. So let's see, addition gate of what's entering in here. A is entering and B is entering. A is entering, B is entering. Let's see, addition of A and B is, oops. Okay, A and B, addition of A and B. Zero, zero, one, 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 one. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. The next one, it is the number two, which is just C entering here. Okay, just C entering here. So it not gate is the opposite of the value. It's called the opposite gate. So opposite of C. So one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Go to number three, number three. Let's go to number three. Number three is two and B, two and B. And it is a NAND gate. If it is a NAND gate, it's opposite of AND gate. AND gate is multiplication gate. Multiplication gate. So if it's a multiplication gate, we're going to first multiply uh, B and 2. So we're going to multiply B and 2. So we're going to multiply B and 2. I'm going to just write it up here. So this is the AND gate. I'm just going to write it here. So we're going to multiply B and 2. So 0, 0, 1, 0, um, zero, 
um, 0 1 0 okay now the opposite of this will be 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 okay finally the next one we have 4 4 is the 3 and 1 and it is e and gate if it's an and gate that is a multiplication gate multiplication multiplication gate this right here we say is the multiplication gate if it's a multiplication gate we will add the two values so let's add I mean multiply the two values so we're going to multiply 1 and 3 multiply 1 and 3 so 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 that's going to be the answer so finally the answer is going to be 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 that's going to be your your answer right here okay that's going to be your answer i'm hoping you understood that pretty simple let's go to number four Go to number four. Okay, number four. What does number four say? It says, identify the name and draw this single logic gate that can replace the given logic circuits. Okay, so here we have an AND gate and it's becoming NOT. So that will become what? NAND. Because this AND, all the values are changing to, you know, NOT just opposites of this. So this become an AND gate. The drawing of this will just be like that. Okay. As simple as that. Let's go to this one. This one is an OR gate. This is a NOT gate becomes a NOR. This is a really easy, easy question. That's an OR gate. I'm not going to waste time doing that. Okay, I think this is the last question of this worksheet. Really quick video, as I told you. I'll try to upload many more topics. Guys, put on the comments below what types of topics you want to see. Is it binary, denary conversions? Um, is it file sizes because I know many people struggle with that so I think the next video or one of the future videos will be about file sizes I've done a live stream where I talk about file sizes but then I want to do a separate just video on file sizes also paper 2 give me some suggestions um, I know many people are telling me to do the pre-release but again you know pre-release you cannot put it just for last moment because I know the exam for October November is in a, a few weeks and if you're telling me to do pre-release and then, you know, everyone has their own variants. I think I'd rather want you to understand your pre-release and then execute it in yours rather than me doing the work, okay? But again, if you need any help, message me on Instagram. I'll try my best to help you on small topics. Again, you know, so many people just tell me to do the entire pre-release. You know, that's not how it works. I want you to understand and then apply it in yours. I wanted you to understand the topics. I've done a pre-release uh, before on this channel. I want you to go over that understand how I do it, the different methods, the pseudocode, so on and so forth, and then implement it in yours. So don't tell me, just do the entire pre-release. Uh, that could be one way, but I want you to implement it in yours, okay? Because we just have two weeks time, you know, there's no way you don't understand the pre-release. If you don't, then, you know, that would be worst case scenario. But again, message me, I'll try to explain it if you don't understand your pre-release, but there's so many variants, three variants, and the time is so limited. Uh, it'll be quite hard to upload all those pre-release solutions but i'll try my best again message me on instagram if you need any help i'll be always ready to help you okay so let's begin with this and let's begin with this okay so let's start with the brackets a or c now i'm going to draw this because that's the best way to do these types of questions if they don't give you that so i'm going to write a b and c right there so let's start with a or c a or C okay that is A or C you can see it is joined there A or C next thing let's do the next thing we need to do is not A and not C so let's do that so not A uh, let's make it a bit smaller so not A and then what is it and not C not C okay so we've done that and this is connecting together with an AND gate and this entire thing is connected with a ZOR gate of
this is what we get. There you go. I've just drawn it quickly. It's a bit of a really confusing one, but let's count the number of logic gates. One, two, three, four, five, six logic gates. Um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm just gonna label it so that you understand what gates are what. If my drawings are bad, uh, what was this? Was this an OR gate? I think it was an OR gate. Yeah, it's an OR gate. This is the NOT gate. And gate. And gate. And the ZOR gate. Okay. Ah, now let's do it. Let's have six columns, one column, two columns, three columns, four columns, five, five columns. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's start off with one. One is the opposite of A. Opposite of A is just this. Okay, done. Number two. Two is A and C. It's an OR gate. A and C. It's an OR gate. OR gate is addition gate. So we will just add all these values. Next. Three. Three is a NOT gate of C. Three is a NOT gate of C. It's so the opposite of C. Pretty simple. Four. Now what's four? Four is one and three and it's an AND gate. One and three AND gate. AND gate is multiplication gate. Pretty simple. Number five. Number five is an AND gate which is linking two and four. Okay, it's linking two and four. Okay, it is linking two and four, and it's an AND gate, two and four AND gates. So that's a multiplication gate, and they all are zeros. Interesting. <laughs> Six is now a ZOR gate with B. B is a ZOR gate. Okay, like terms is zero. Unlike terms is one. And that shall be the answer. And that shall be the answer. So let's try the answer. Again, I'm hoping you understood this. I did this a bit quick, but um, it's just straightforward, right? Okay. If you wanted the working out, there it is. So there you go, guys. That was all the logic gates questions for today's worksheet. I'm hoping you guys understood this, hoping you took at least one or two things from these worksheets that I do every day. I'm going to be trying to do daily uploads for this October, November. Now I've said it. So if I don't do that, I'm going to cut this part of the video. So, but I'm hoping I don't and I keep this in and I'm going to try my best to upload as many videos as I can for you people. Uh, before the examination start and also for the people who are doing the May Junes next year the Feb marches so on so forth I'll do for the different subjects as well as computer science. So that marks the end of today's video I'm hoping you enjoyed this video hit the notification bell because I am going to be uploading every day uh, On the different subjects subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye